Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to reset the BIOS password for a Dell Optiplex 7010. We have done uh, two other videos in the past about uh, resetting the BIOS password for a Dell Optiplex 3010 uh, for an ASUS motherboard. You can check that on the top right of this screen. So we are in front of the monitor now and I'm going to turn on the computer to see what happens. So you see the Dell logo and after a few seconds you can see this one, this message. This computer system, the serial, is uh, protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data, blah, 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 unless you put the uh, system administrator password. So as you can imagine, I don't have that password for this Optiplex 7010. So the only thing left to do for us is to shut down the computer. We can literally, we cannot do anything else here. So I'm going to shut down the computer and allow me a few seconds to move to focus my camera again on the computer case and we are going to remove the cover I struggle a little there and I'm going to get rid of uh, any static electricity I, I might have in my body by touching the metal parts on the case but not the electronics yet so a few seconds after that you can see the, the fan for the processor you can see the RAM I, I have added more RAM to this computer where the place where the optical drive should be there is another hard drive because I use this computer as, uh, to store my virtual machines this is kind of my lab computer because it has eight cores in total this model is really good so you can see here the the place where the original hard drive is supposed to be where, where it is we have the operating system there and now what um, of course the power supply so now we have to look for two pins like we did in the past so i'm going to make a close-up you have to look for them and in this case very noticeable so you can see the uh, the jumper it's that blue thing and we are looking for password reset so the blue jumper is uh, the password reset and the other two is the real-time clock reset but we have to reset the password now so this is what we want to work for so now i'm going to disconnect the power uh, the cord from the power supply and i'm going to press the power button which is in the top right you you cannot see it but you see my hand for around i'm going to press it for around 10 seconds to get rid of any uh any charge that might be storing the capacitors after a few seconds, I mean, this video is accelerated, as you can notice, uh, we have pressed the power button. Now we we are going to take out the, the blue jumper. It's really easy to take to take it out. Uh, you cannot put, you don't have to put much effort on it. And after that, we have to turn on the computer. So for that, I'm going to connect back the power cord to the power supply. And you're going to see the fan spinning a uh, for a few seconds right there so it means it has power but it's not connected yet so I'm going to put the jumper there and I'm going to turn on the computer and you see the Dell logo and now we see this message uh, this one goes by really fast so that's why the video is a slow down so the hardware jumper is removed to override the system password setting system password has been erased and I don't see there password cannot be changed please connect back the jumper to perform any password changes so after that, the only thing left to do for us is to shut down the computer. So we, we take out the, the jumper, we turn on the computer, and now we have to shut it down. That's pretty much the process. But I don't like to do it that way, and I'm just going to, to let the process continue. We're going to go to Windows. Uh, Windows is going to load. And you can see there, there's my, my session. This is the computer I use, like I mentioned, as, as my lab. And I just shut down the computer with the shutdown command well not command with the clicking on the shutdown <laughs> option so I'm going to do the same I shut down the computer I'm going to disconnect uh, the the cable from the power supply and again I'm going to press the power button button for around 10 seconds to get rid of any power store in the capacitors so after uh, after those 10 seconds I'm going to put back the jumper As you can see me doing here I'm grabbing the jumper and you just have to put it back. It's really easy to do. You don't have to do much effort here. Be gentle. You don't want to bend the pins and have more problems. <laughs> so you just place it back. And that's pretty much everything you have to do um, here on the motherboard. So I'm going to connect back the power cord to the power supply. You can see the, the fan spinning and we have to turn on the computer. However, uh, well, not however. Besides that, we don't have anything to do here as I mentioned. So I'm going to put back the cover 
uh, like that and I'm going to turn on the computer so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera one more time uh, there you go we're going to turn on the computer and start pressing F12 to access the BIOS you see the Dell logo and now we have access to it don't forget press F12 so now we are going to go to the BIOS BIOS setup you can see here the hard drive the Shiva which is the hard, which is the other hard drive the NIC and after a few seconds we're going to see the classic Dell BIOS menu from here we are we can use the mouse or our keyboard we're going to choose security admin password or system password so uh, both are a little different well they are different the system password uh, as you can see here is not set either is not set and the difference is that the system password is the one when you configure it it asks you for a password from the beginning so you start the computer and it's going to ask you for a password and the admin password is the, is the one to make changes on the on the BIOS itself where we are right now other features are that you can put password to your hard drive which is really cool you can make a strong password like a characters minimum or, or use capital letters or something like that which is pretty cool but for now we are going to set up the admin password since before we all we have done the system password was set now the admin password as you can see here I'm just going to type an easy password one two three five six of course ne never use this kind of password <laughs> this is just to show you how it works so I'm going to repeat the password and I'm just going to click OK and you see there password set now the password is is configured and now we don't have my, uh, anything else to do and we're, we're, we're going to click exit so the system is going to restart I'm going to start pressing F12 and we are going to see the Dell logo first F12 and we are going to have access to this menu again it, this is not the BIOS yet this is the menu I, I believe I made a mistake there a few seconds ago and I'm going to click BIOS setup so we are back to the BIOS menu and from here we are going to go uh, we're going to use the our keyboard and um, let's go to security admin password and it, but if you notice uh, allow me a few seconds uh, I wanted you to see it better uh, I go if I go if I try to change any settings like boot sequence you can see that everything is grayed out I cannot choose I cannot do any changes we were not asked for a password to access the BIOS but we cannot do anything unless we press unlock well, we click unlock and it's going to ask us for the password which is one two three four five six that we configured some seconds ago so I'm going to type the password I'm going to click OK and as you can see that if you know the password you everything is unlocked for you so you can make changes for example I don't want the disk track to be in use I don't know why, why it's configured <laughs> so I disable it um, and you can change the boot order and may, the many other changes that you have in, uh, in the computer in the BIOS so I don't have anything else to do so I click exit the, the computer restarted and that's pretty much it uh, that's how you reset the password and configure the password one more time if you want to configure it's not mandatory that you have a password but it's advisable to have it especially in an enterprise environment well to be honest in every environment if you have the computer at home just put a password uh, make your system more secure more resilient to let's say somebody that might access your computer or something like that but it's just an advice so that's what I wanted to show you today, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, this is your first time here, perhaps, consider subscribing to it by smashing the subscribe button and the bell notifications for future videos. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.